Okay, y'all. <laughs> Cat. He gave y'all a heads up. Right? Early during the year. So now you see everything being exposed, just like you said. 2024. So everything will come to the light. So check it out. Cat Wiggins on Club Shay Shay. About to give it to you raw. I came in this business saying I was gonna expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them. They, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the lie. I can have nothing on with these. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> I, I kind of <clears throat> getting on there. All right. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know well, why did he get blackballed? Yeah. Oh, because I don't know because that. because in thirty years I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing? You tell me. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that, I value that, I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know and they all know it. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? That's why I'm saying, that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike. Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. I told him to go get the Prowler. I then told him to paint it purple. I told him don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp, Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play. Like, I... I did far too much work for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Why didn't Q set the record straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no I didn't one's ever heard. Lie. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> but normally when people are giving you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and they're giving information no one else knows or has ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about my first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. The, uh, uh, Guy Torrey did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. 
Steve and Cedric never performed at the Comedy Store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called so plain that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words.